everyone. My name is Christy. Welcome to my corner. Thanks for joining me today for a floss tube extra. I wasn't planning on filming a video this week at all. I have been very busy with work and I had mentioned in my floss tube last week that I wouldn't be filming. Then I got two things in the mail. The first thing I got was the Black Needle Society Novels and Needles Murder Mystery box. And I had mentioned this before. I had bought, I bought this October or November because I love me a mystery. <laughs> Mysteries are essentially the only thing I read these days other than work reading. And they're one of the few things I watch other than floss tube. So like murder mysteries are kind of my thing. I'm a cozy mystery girl though. So yeah, I'm a cozy mystery kind of girl. In fact, someone had asked what book series I was reading that had got me so that I'm like hooked on. And it is by Louise Penny, Inspector Gamache Mysteries. And I love them. I think they're so good. Yeah, they're really good. And there are a lot of them, so they are keeping me very occupied. In fact, I was just weaving and listening to one. So so there you go. That's who, I don't remember who, who asked that. And I don't remember if I have answered it. So I may be answering it twice, but that's what I'm listening to. Back to the reason you're here. I got this in the mail and I thought I'd do an unboxing. So that will be fun. And I also got the Embroiderers Guild of America Needle Arts magazine. And I thought I'd do a flip through because I know that most of you don't, uh, aren't members of the uh, Embroiderers Guild and I thought you might like it. So I'm gonna do the unboxing first over here and then I'm gonna take you over there and take a look at the Needle Arts book because I haven't looked through it either. And this way, if there are any like, um, patterns or anything that I need to blur out, I can just do that um, in, in post-production. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm official. I'm a, I'm a professional. <laughs> so I can blur them out in post-production and not worry about it. So that's the plan for this video. I have already opened the box and have looked at a couple things, but I haven't uh, looked at most of it. So you get to look at that with me. It comes with an evidence bag that I have not opened. So I'll show you the stuff I have seen first. First of all, there is the, the booklet and I'm not going to read it to you, but essentially they have created a murder mystery. And so we've been getting emails about it. There's a, fa a private Facebook group and there is an investigation file. <laughs> so this is a project bag, a giant project bag, and it is the investigation file and it has evidence in it, which I have not gone through. And I honestly don't know that I'm going to go through it because it kind of feels like work and I'm already pretty busy. <laughs> so yeah. So I, I don't know, but now I'm, now I'm intrigued, but it's basically emails. Like, like they made emails. They must've been working on this for months. So that's the first thing is this project bag, this, which is a file and evidence. So before I go through the evidence bag, there is stuff in the box. The first thing I saw is a candle and I really like their candles. And I showed this to my husband and he's like, Oh, does it smell like bodies? And I said, no, it smells like professor plum. It smells like plum. How clever is that? I think that's so clever because this could have gone very bad. <laughs> smelling in a, in a murder in a murder box <laughs> could have gone very bad. So it's nice. It's a light smell. So that's the first mystery is clue professor plum, which is an excellent game that I have. I, I have played numerous times. I don't think I've ever played clue to the end, but the movie is so good. I mean, honestly, anything with Tim Curry is good, so I will watch it, but the movie is so good. Next, it looks like more needle, needle drops. Oh, it's Poirot. You guys know I love Poirot. Oh, what does it say? Use your little gray cells, mon ami. Can you see that? Very cute. And I don't know if they're all Poirot. I don't want to open them though. The other ones from the last box from the steampunk box were not all the same and I still haven't opened them. So I need to put, I need to get out my needle, needle drops, floss drops, floss drops. Oh my God. Floss drops. They're called floss drops. It's been, it's been a weekend already and it's only Saturday. Ooh, 
Ooh, we have a floss drop ring with a book and magnifying glass. Very cute. And another evidence bag with more floss drops. Fabric detection services. Oh, very cool. So this, sorry, you can't see this. Fabric detection services. So essentially they are fabric labels and bell pins, bulb pins, bulb pins are called bulb pins. So that's pretty cool. In fact, I may put all these little things in this little bag. There is of course the needle minder that comes with every one. The impossible could not have happened. Therefore the impossible must be possible in spite of appearances. Agatha Christie. I don't know what that's from, but that's really cute. It's a little weighty. It's weighty. Oh, it's metal. Very nice. This can go on my sleuths series, I think. And in fact, I may put my sleuth series on all this stuff. That's exciting. We got some silks from Be Stitch Me. Uh, reds, obviously. Wine. Red velvet, which is, uh, it's coming up. Oh, that's better. It's kind of a little pinkier than it is, but it's a fairly pink red and poinsettia, which is a very nice red. So those came three different reds. He stitched me silks. Oh, very nice. The pattern is by Christ, uh, Kristen De Palma. Must be possible. The impossible could not have happened. Therefore, impossible must be possible. So this is just the needle minder in cross stitch form. So that's cute. Now I need to have like a sleuths wall, like a like a golden age of mystery wall or something like that. The fabric. Oh, and the pen. Steel City Stitchers. So the uh, comes in a bag that I ripped, unfortunately which is the case number. <laughs> That's okay. The fabric, it comes in a evidence bag is by Steel City Stitchers and it is a like a light blue. Um, it looks like it is probably the called for. Yes. So this is the called for fabric for this pattern. And Kristen De Palma is a calligrapher. She's a lettering artist. And so she did the original, which looks like that, which is adorable. So that's really fun. So that, oh, and a pen. It comes with a pen as well. Let me see. Let's look at the, let's look at the thing. <laughs> so the pen is apparently an invisible ink pen and there's a UV light on the end. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. So let's look in the box and it looks like the box doesn't give away any secrets. So let's see here. It comes with a spoon, a wooden spoon. You have just been poisoned. I won't give this to my husband. He's always convinced that I'm trying to poison him. I'm not obviously, but I do watch a lot of mysteries. Mrs. McCarthy's Oh, award-winning strawberry scone mix from, uh, oh, what's his name? He's the priest. Oh my God. I can't believe I forget his name. I can picture him. <laughs> Father something. I want to say Father Ted, but that's a completely different show. I need to look it up. Hold on one second. I know those of you who are into mysteries are screaming at me. Father Brown. Father Brown's mysteries. And one of the main characters has her scone recipe that is like award-winning and she wins every year. And then like one year she didn't, she didn't win. And it was a, it was a scandal. So much fun. Sweet strawberry preserves. So I can make, oh, you can't see. So I can make scones. That was a really fun box. And I'm definitely going to use the, I think all the little accoutrement for my sleuths series of embroidery. Um, you know, you put the needle minder on my, 
on my, uh, what's it called? On my patterns and on my hoops and stuff. Cause I don't use needle minders when I cross stitch cause I stitch in hand and I just use a pin cushion that's on my table. But so that is the murder mystery black needle society box. Like I said, I got this a while ago. I'm assuming that they'll, they will have extras of things on their website when the time comes and we have to solve a mystery. So we're going to try and do that. Maybe <laughs> it does kind of feel like work because I think that the zoom is next weekend. It feels like work. We'll have to see. I'll have to see how I feel. But before we do that, I'm going to take you over to my table over there and I will uh, go through the needle arts book with it with you. Well, you'll go through it with me because I haven't gone through it either. So I'm going to go through the needle arts book uh, magazine and listen to the rain because it's been raining all day and then get on with my day. I'll see you over there and I'm not going to come back here again. I'm just going to say goodbye from over there. So I'll see you in a second. Well, for you, it's like instantaneous. Okay, here we are. So let's take a look at this. Like I said, this is the Embroiderers Guild of America Needle Arts book. I'll put a link down below to their website. I joined them, I don't know, a couple months ago just to, ooh, thunder, just to check out what they were doing and um, because they have a bunch of classes. Wow. It's been like this all day since like three in the morning. Anyway, these magazines are really great because they have like projects in them. They have different designers in them. They have different techniques in them. So let's take a look. And this is the national one. I, I don't have a local, unfortunately. I do have a regional, and so I get their newsletter as well. But um, this is kind of the main one. We have the different, the table of contents with the different regions. That's, I kind of want to see what's going on there. Different designers and projects. And like I said, I will blur out any patterns that pop up. So I'm not going to worry about that, covering them or anything like that. Um, and then we have some historical pulled thread sampler. That's really pretty. I love the mending samplers and the stitch samples. Like I like the ones that are like the letters and stuff too that people reproduce, but I really like the ones that were like this, that are like pulled thread or different mending stitches, that kind of a thing. A letter from the president. Ooh, look at that. Canvas embroidery. How beautiful is that? C. Oh, wow. Hmm. A little bullion knots. Diane Herman. I love, I love stuff like that with the water. I love stuff like this. That's like representative, but not quite representative. Chicago, I'm assuming that looks like Chicago to me. Yeah. That's the Sears towers. Although it's not called Sears towers. I used to spend a lot of time in Chicago when I lived in the Midwest. I would, um, take classes there at the Newberry library in Chicago. Look at that. Oh, that's what's on the cover. Escher visits the Alhambra. The Moravians. Moravian Church. That's interesting. Look at these. These are like, they're stunning. Red work. I know a lot of people always have a red work sampler on the go. Pot bellied pig. Look at that. How cute is that little pig? Stitch in public day. Um, so <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, my friend and I, I now have a friend who stitches, a local friend who stitches. And so we've started the granny craft club and we go to a local beer garden and stitch and, you know, stitch in public. And I'm in the South Central region, which is surprising to me because Usually in Mississippi, I'm kind of in the southeastern region, but here I'm with Louisiana and Texas, which is strange to me, but it kind of means that I'll never be able to go to anything because it's probably always going to be in Texas. That's too bad. I would like someday to maybe actually start a local chapter if I get really involved in the, you know, not right away, obviously, but if I get involved in the whole, in the organization more. Educational opportunities. So this is why I joined because of the classes. I'm um, not this class in particular, but they have lots of classes. 
and they have lectures. And so um, Krista West of Avlia Folk Embroidery is giving a lecture that I might sign up for. Oh, that would be fun too. Elizabethan Embroidery, registration the 13th through the 20th. I might have to check that out. So these are all the classes. And I really want to take the, like, be a educator, be an embroidery educator class. That sounds really fun. And here's what the different regions are doing. Metropolitan region, New York area, mid-Atlantic. See, I would expect to be in the Tennessee Valley region. It's actually surprising, but what are you gonna do? I live where I live. Oh, look at that needle case, that's pretty. Competitions, more ads. You know, ads, show me places I didn't know. So I'm definitely not upset about ads. Pearl Cotton, Thread of the Month Club, Fiber Talk, a podcast. I love this idea of partnering with historical societies and preserving their textiles. And that's where that pulled thread sampler came from. And those are really pretty. Some samplers. And then some events. South Central region. Oh, it's in Shreveport. That's actually not that far from me. But I'm not traveling June 14th to 18th, unfortunately, because I have to travel the week before, and that's a lot of traveling. So I'm out of luck on that. Oh, and here are some international needlework festivals. Well, here are needlework festivals, some international. Lady Anne's Needlework Festival in the UK. Art Cloth Network Exhibition in Austin, Texas. Golden Needle Awards. Latimer, oh, Fiber and Beyond Exhibition in Tillamook, Oregon. New Zealand National Embroiderers Conference. 2022, Taranga, New Zealand. I hope I said that correctly. The International Organization of Lace Annual Convention in Mesa, Arizona. And the EGA National Seminar, Broadway Bound in New York City. Neat. So that's that. That's the... Needle Arts book. Um, it has a lot of interesting information and stuff to read, so I will do that, but I will not do that on camera. <laughs> I think this has been long enough. Um, I have some editing to do, and I want to do some dyeing. I bought, I bought some dye today. I have plans, so I want to test that out, and I want to thank you for joining me. So thanks so much for hanging out with me this afternoon in this stormy day and going through my black needle society box with me and also my needle arts magazine and i will hopefully see you next week for a regular floss tube where i can show you the outcome of my dyeing experiments so with all that being said please take good care of yourselves and have a good one bye <laughs>